We never settle for second best. If it's good enough for somebody who is able-bodied, then it's good enough for all of us too. Everyone has their unique strengths, interests, considering them as individuals is important. I think your potential can be like anything you want it to be, like it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. We're a membership-based organisation, we're not-for-profit and we specialise in cerebral palsy. From our early beginnings as a parent-run organisation, we've matured as the expectations of society have matured with opportunities through the NDIS. Right through our structure of an organisation at our board, at our management and with our staff, we get people who have the lived experience of cerebral palsy because they know the world and the community of cerebral palsy best. As a person with lived experience working with CPSN, I'm able to give them insight into the kind of challenges that clients would be facing. I work as the customer experience officer. When a caller rings into CPSN, they're talking to me. We can kind of relate to each other. So it's not just an admin staff reading off a script. I'm a membership of services officer working with young people with cerebral palsy who enjoy coming together, connecting with each other, learning new skills. Recently, we enjoyed doing a podcasting training session. So thinking of creative opportunities for people is important to me and to CPSN. My twins have cerebral palsy, and so I can use my lived experience with my boys to support other families and help navigate those early years of allied health intervention, schooling, daycare, childcare. Before I had a child, I considered myself pretty self-sufficient, but babies need to be lifted and carried around a lot, so it was pretty physically challenging. There was nothing out there for parents who had a disability. So every month I run an online support group for parents with CP. I love working at CPSM because as a person with cerebral palsy, that gives me the opportunity to connect more with the community. We work alongside individuals and their families, providing the support that they need, that they dictate and determine. Our support workers are purposely matched with our clients so that it's a very personal relationship. By going out and doing the home visits, it's really connecting with them and being able to really understand what support they'll need to achieve their goals. After the NDIS gave us all the funds that we needed to start looking for support, the Cerebral Palsy Network, they reached out to us. And one of the first things I asked my mum was, does it matter that I don't actually have cerebral palsy? It's very similar symptoms, it's a very similar condition. They don't worry about that, so we shouldn't either. They listen, they care. It's not just an agency. It seems more than that. It seems people that really know what's going on, what's needed. The support workers that we have had have been fantastic, though Julie's been the best <laughs> so far. Thank you, thank you. She's been helping me with my goals, such as being more social, being a bit more out there, getting to and from the gym. Also helping me applying for like jobs, getting my learner's permit. The health sector isn't always designed for adults with a disability. There's lots of support in the childhood and youth space. As soon as you're not a youth anymore, you kind of just get kicked out of the system. A lot of the supports that I had were like dropped because obviously I'm no longer a kid. So we're somewhere they can come to. I've been able to see some really great outcomes for adults with cerebral palsy to help them navigate what can be quite a confusing and inaccessible health system. They really have an awareness of what people with CP need. It's really important to walk the talk. It's a great organisation to work for in terms of giving back to the community. I've seen so much change in Ingrid in the short time that I've worked with her. It's fantastic. She just like gives me the, the push that I otherwise wouldn't really have. I hope that I've been able to provide the support that I wish I'd had growing up. When I help someone, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. I get to see the impact and the difference we make every day in people's lives. How the network has supported people like me, that goes a long way to making sure that 
the world becomes more inclusive. Mm -hmm.